Ian Falconer, creator of Olivia, the energetic piglet, dies at 63. He was a stage designer noted for his work in opera, when he hit the bestseller list in 2000, with the first in a series of books for children. Ian Falconer, who had built a successful career designing opera sets with David Hockney and drawing covers for The New Yorker, when he turned a character he had originally created as a Christmas gift for a niece into Olivia Children's book about a rambunctious piglet that became a publishing sensation, died on Tuesday in Norwalk, Connecticut. He was 63. Michael Rhodes has played alongside Dolly Parton, Elton John, Hank Williams Jr. and many more esteemed musicians. Michael Rhodes, an esteemed bassist comma, has sadly passed away aged 69. He passed away at his home in Nashville, Tennessee, Saturday morning 4 March. No cause of death was given. Rhodes was inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame in 2019 due to his outstanding career. Ed Fury, a 1951 Mr. Muscle Beach winner who became one of the most successful male physique models of the era before launching a swords and sandal film career that rivaled the genre's leading man Steve Reeves, has died at his California home. He was 94. Born Edmund Holovchik in New York on June 6, 1928, Fury began lifting weights as a high school wrestler before moving to Southern California in the late 1940s, where he soon found his place among the Santa Monica Muscle Beach bodybuilding set. By 1953 Fury was one of the go-to bodybuilders when Hollywood needed a buff type. The following year Fury found his signature role as the title character in Ursus, a pseudo-mythological fantasy adventure later released to U.S. television as Ursus, son of Hercules, though the character had no relation to Hercules. Fury reprised the role in 1961's Ursus in the Valley of the Lions and, in 1963, Ursus in the Land of Fire. Walter Mirisch, Oscar-winning producer from the bygone era, dies at 101 after working at a Poverty Row studio in the 1940s. He co-founded one of Hollywood's leading independent production companies, working on films including West Side. Story and in the heat of the night Walter Mirisch, an Oscar-winning producer who partnered with two of his brothers to launch one of Hollywood's most storied production companies, working closely with actors and filmmakers to bring mid-century classics like some like it hot west side story and in the heat of the night to the screen died february 24 in los angeles he was 101